We were assigned that night to work out crowd at 14th and Market. Sarge said, hey, I'm gonna drive my uh, sergeant's car up to the end of the block. Anybody want to ride? Corporal Smith got into the passenger seat and Officer Wiley got in the back. So Sergeant Timmerman is driving. He drives the his sergeant's truck up to the up to 15th. And we see his fight in the middle of the intersection. I stopped the car. I let the other two know, hey, there's a fight up here. But I'm sitting in the back, so I can't really um, see a whole lot of what's going on. And that's when I noticed the guy walking backwards with a knife in his hand. He runs around and goes to grab the front passenger door. And I see Corporal Smith holding onto the door, making sure he can't open it. And so when that didn't work, I saw the guy move to my door. Immediately, I ran around the car to the other side. And as I'm getting to the other side, I'm drawing my weapon. And the guy is already inside the back seat of my car. And he's got a good sized knife. And he's holding it so the blade's up. And he's facing me. Right as I'm getting there, Corporal Smith is also coming from the front door, and we both draw our weapons and start ordering the suspect to drop the knife and get out of the car. When you have somebody with a knife, you're not always thinking, get a taser. You're thinking, that's deadly physical force. I'm going to match it with a deadly physical force. And because of my gear that was behind me in the seat, he couldn't get out the other side. Reacted back, kind of put my foot up. So he was trapped in there. And drew my gun. The guy was big, six foot, 230. Um, he was built like your average NFL running back. I was prepared to get stabbed. When you're in close, they can do a lot of damage with the knife. We were face to face. The, the wounds that they can inflict can be far worse than what you'll receive from a single gunshot. He was holding the knife and brandishing it towards me. I kept yelling, drop the knife, drop the knife. For the most part, a knife will go right through the vest. And so I was watching his hand and the knife to see if it was gonna start the stabbing motion. And there were probably a few hundred people behind us, um, all phones out, recording us. The crowd started yelling um, derogatives at us. Yeah, it was very loud. Shoot, shoot him, just that's what you cops do. Your reaction times, you don't have enough time to really stop someone with a knife. Yeah, he could have moved forward and, and definitely stabbed me to death. Wasn't sure if shooting him would even stop the problem, so he could have attacked Officer Wiley, he could have turned around and attacked us, and once those gunshots went off, the crowd could have become more aggressive and become part of the situation. I remember my finger being on the trigger of the gun, and I remember thinking I might have to do this. Either one of us could have shot him at any time, but I think we just had that, that slight hesitation of, you know, am I, am I right in doing so just yet? And the fact that Officer Wiley didn't shoot from the inside once again, he had that slight hesitation as well of, am I to that level where I need to shoot this individual? So, I mean, there were a bunch of factors to it. It was a very dangerous situation. It also went through my mind that if I don't fire right now, if I wait for the guy to make a move, it'll be too late. And then all of a sudden, um, he obeyed me and threw the knife to the ground, to the floor of the truck. You have to be willing to not hesitate and do it when it needs to be done, but if it doesn't need to be done, it's always a better alternative. This guy made a very bad decision walking up to a police vehicle with a knife out, trying to get into my door, and then ultimately getting into the back door. Um, and the fact that we were able to talk him down and have him drop the knife and get him into custody was great. After we got him in custody, I thought, for all I know, he's stabbed three people on the way. We can't have that kind of behavior in the streets. And so that's what we're here for, is to keep keep everybody safe. Both Corporal Smith and uh, Officer Wiley did great. I just thought, I'm glad I, I'm glad he didn't stab me, and I'm glad I didn't have to shoot him. You live through this stuff, you learn, and tomorrow's another day.